Swift here, and today I have something new but old for you guys. So one of my first videos I made was about a lock that was completely programmable based on lever input. I have remade that, and as you can see, programming it, the first number is 1, 2, 3, 4, but this time, What's interesting about it is that it's a little bit better. It works quite a bit smarter than the last one. So you can see that torch is on. So the first one went through. Second one. So torch is on. So you can see it went through. Three. You'll see the same thing. And four. Okay, so now if I press any button, it will reset the whole thing, because any other button would be incorrect. And you can see if I try to skip forward, it'll reset it. If I press it again, it'll reset it. Anything that isn't the exact number needed at that point in the code will reset it. <clears throat> but here is the nice thing about this one. I can do this. I can have every single one be the same number. You can have as many repeats as you like in this system. It's because I used a different concept in this one. I used the idea that you should check per bit rather than for the whole thing. So that's what this system does. So I can get an output with four. That'll reset it. This is basically a perfect combination lock as far as I can tell. Completely programmable Resettable can only take the exact code you need, and if you wanted an enter button, all you would have to do is have an AND gate at the output, which is easily this torch right here. And another benefit is that this one is smaller than my old one. So I'll see you guys next time.